These are my employees. They're all working. I'm Carl Stafford. I work for Virginia Cooperative Extension in Culpeper. This is the Northern Piedmont. We're on the Willis Farm near Brightwood. The time of year that I like cattle the best is in the winter. It's because I know what to do with their expensive diet, and that is let them harvest it. So I'm extending the grazing season by having stockpile, and so I'll ration it to them over the winter. People that are doing this for the first time measure how much grass they have and then do a budget of forage, just like they would count hay bales. They need to count pounds of dry matter standing out here on the land, apply that to the, the requirement of the cattle and say, okay, about 3% of the body weight is what you need. And you can do a little math and figure, okay, you've got enough or you don't have enough and how many days of grazing there is. And uh, we look at the economics of this whole thing and it, it costs half as much for them to do that as it does for me to give them hay. It's about half. So that's a big difference. And for a small producer like me, that's really the only advantage I've got. This is nice height. If we put our plate meter on it, we'd probably find we've got six inches or so of slightly compressed grass, but it's, uh, there's a lot of feed here. This is a good amount of grass to withstand a big snow. The snow with the grazing in the winter is one of the biggest challenges, but you can handle it. If they were seeking their diet in a short stand like I'm standing on, it wouldn't take much snow to stop them from finding it. But when they get on tall grass, and even in deeper snow with that tall grass, they can root for it when the snow is soft. You might look at them from a distance, and if they're, if they're busy rooting for it, just leave them alone. Don't distract them. If you go and get in the middle of them, they'll stop doing and see what it is you're going to do for them. So go out and watch them and see what they're doing. What will stop them from grazing is when it gets frozen and crusty, and then I've got to intervene with a tractor and break a path. I've learned that I need to start plowing snow right away. Don't wait. And what that'll do is the paths will then melt quicker to the grass than the standing snow that's left behind. And if you're nervous about it, then you need to have hay available. And so two years ago, we actually had about a foot and a half of snow. So I plowed the first day, as soon as it stopped, I plowed paths. They were eating hay the, the first few days while the snow was coming down. And then they went to those paths, and then they went to the unplowed areas because it warmed up. It was deep enough that I saw a cow with only the back of her head sticking out of the snow. But I was glad to see she was willing to go that deep for it. <laughs>